we did before and the total of the sample uh, down here. And so now you've got same kind of concept. This is, we took this column and said, count them if they are less than or equal to 60. We came up with 50 of them. This one, count them if they're greater than 60. We got 30. We did this 80 times. So this number of columns here is 80. We took a sample of 80 uh, out of the theoretical population, right? Is 80. And then we said, okay, well, 50 out of 80, 50 out of 80, we're four candidate A, that's 63 about, and 30 out of 80 is 38 about. And that's the total of 100%. Now we did this a whole bunch of times this time. So now, now we have a whole lot more results. Now, if I put these results again into a column, I'm going to go way over here and say, and I, I shortcutted this table. So this doesn't have, this isn't as long as the table we, we will do in Excel, just giving you the kind of idea, but here's the results. So now we've got uh, uh, the results, uh, the percents, and we did this a whole bunch of times. You can see, boom, 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 all the way down to here. And then we took the average. So we did it a whole bunch of times this time. And we compare each one to the expected. And then this is the difference. Now, and then you can basically kind of make histograms. So this is a histogram of uh, the percent results that we've got from testing it a whole bunch of times. And, and you would expect then, if you test this a whole bunch of times that it would be hovering around 60%, right? So if I look at my histogram over here, we've got we've got the middle point uh, is leaning a little bit to the right, right? Because you would expect it to be at, at like 60. And so it's interesting then to look at your results and see how the histogram, as you as you look at larger results and try to make a histogram out of it, then then look at start to look at the structure of the histogram as you as you do this uh and have more results that you're that you're adding to it because you would think that then the form should get close to the theory in, in our case because we did kind of a mathematical kind of concept and we took it everything below uh 60 we took a random draw you would think that the more uh the more times you, you have a result you would get something that's going to be tapering off and looking more kind of like a bell shape uh, uh, kind of kind of structure as you as you take more results. So it could be an interesting concept to get an idea of certain things, doing that conceptually in Excel with small amounts of data and then just run the same thing with larger amounts of data and look at the structure of the of the graphs and histograms as you do more of it, which should take you closer if you're doing a mathematical thing to the actual population, which in this case we said was 60 of the entire population, which is really kind of just a mathematical concept because we, we just it would be the similar thing as with the coin flip, right? We, if we did it an infinite amount of times, you would expect it to be, you know, 60, but it's gonna, then it's gonna taper off and, and whatnot if you group them all together. So uh, there's that one.